Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a special Remembrance Day presentation. I'm Steve Pakin. Remembrance Day has a different meaning for all of us. Some fought in wars, many lost loved ones. Others are connected to events through the stories passed down from generation to generation. Tonight, we bring you two films in honor of Remembrance Day. Children of the Shadows and Fields of Sacrifice did not return. The ruins of Italy speak of them. They are an echo across Vimy Ridge. They are heard still moving through the lanes of Normandy. They live in the minds of old men who still travel the roads of the Somme. They are the dead, the Canadian dead of the two world wars, a hundred thousand of them. They died in far places, places which still live and remember. Artificial harbors for ships of war, now breakwaters for Norman fishermen. The son remembers them as a child, frightened by the great sounds, crouching in a cellar, having to be told that the invading men were friends. The father remembers that it was difficult to fish that summer of 44, for they were using the sea and the beach. But then, the beach has always belonged to the visitors. How long ago that June day, when Canadians struck from the sea. left behind a liberated people and their dead in final dignity. Normandy, place of victory. Hong Kong, place of disaster. Canadians destroyed in the hills of Hong Kong. Canadians destroyed by the cliffs of Dieppe.
Dieppe, French port of death. Londonderry, Irish haven for Canada's Navy. Memories in an Irish pub of sudden friendships and last farewells, of the few good gay days between the awful sea. Some of the haunts are dead now, and some of the men. For most, the graveyard was the sea. For some, an Irish hill. Other memorials decaying on an English field. Memories of the Lancaster and Spitfire, of young men who called them Lanks and Spits and flew them out to die. Commonwealth Memorial at Runnymede. On it, with the others, the names of the 3,000 Canadian airmen who disappeared forever in the sky. Memories in gentle green England. Memories in hot brown Sicily. Canadians moved once through this cruel land and became a part of the Sicilian legend of death. Memories further north, in Casino and in Ortona. The veteran remembers it was cold then, and the sound in the city was more than he would ever hear again. <laughs> <laughs> 